there's a new superbug in town, Clostridium difficile, known in short as C. diff. You may remember superbugs from such hits as MRSA last year, methicillin-resistant Staph aureus, now killing more people than AIDS in the United States. MRSA used to just be something you picked up in hospitals, but then all of a sudden there are all these cases found out in the community, and no one knew where it was coming from. Then we discovered MRSA in pigs, veal calves, chickens, and dairy cows. Aha! So they tested farm workers, and about half of them were carrying it. So then they tested the meat, and found MRSA right off the supermarket shelves. In the hospital, we have something called contact precautions. Before you can even walk into a room with a patient with MRSA, MRSA you have to glove, mask, and gown, even if you're not even going to touch the patient. There's such a concern that you might just touch some contaminated surface, they won't even let you in the room unless you look like this. Yet we still let kids run up and down the meat aisle at the supermarket where MRSA contamination has been confirmed. Now, only about 5% of retail meat tested so far in the U.S. has MRSA on it, but if you went to any infectious disease specialist, offered them an object, informing them that there was a 5% chance it was contaminated with MRSA, uh, first of all, they wouldn't touch it. Uh, and if they did, if they had to, they'd definitely glove up. If you handle raw meat, wear gloves. And I'm serious, and wash your hands. What about C. diff? C. diff used to be just something you picked up in hospitals, but then all of a sudden there are all these cases found out in the community, and no one knew where it was coming from. Then we discovered C. diff in calves, cows, chickens, and pigs. Starting to sound familiar? Then they tested meat and found C. diff right off the supermarket shelves. 42% of meat products sample contained toxin-producing C. diff. The riskiest meat was ground turkey, actually. Relatively common in retail chicken, too, and out of legs, wings, or thighs, the riskiest body part to touch were uh, chicken's wings. And now MRSA causes these nasty skin infections. What does C. diff do? Well, normally nothing. I mean, even if you get infected and your gut gets colonized with C. diff, your good bacteria can usually, usually kind of muscle it into submission. But the C. diff just waits patiently until you have to take an antibiotic, for example. And with your good bacteria out of the way, C. diff can go crazy and cause a severe infection of your colon called pseudomembranous colitis, which can get worse and even turn into a life-threatening condition called toxic megacolon.